in terms of your career, was putting on the headgear kind of what like solidified, like people already knew you were great in the ring, but I feel like that's a visual of going, yeah, this guy, like he takes it seriously. Uh, I mean, it, it all happened by accident, of course. Like uh, I'm very thankful that it did happen. Uh, I, I think I've had a lot of conversations about the headgear recently because, you know, the evolution of the character and the look and all this stuff. And you think about, do I need to wear the headgear anymore? Should I take it off? You know, is it, is it holding me back from elevating myself to a further platform or becoming a bigger star in wrestling or something like that? But uh, for sure, I was just a talented Canadian wrestler that was booked consistently with no gimmick whatsoever, who was just a, a very reliable wrestler. And when I found that headgear because I injured my ear, uh, it really gave me like something for the fans to remember me by. Cause it, you got to think like 70% of fans that leave a show that aren't, you know, diehard wrestling fans aren't going to remember my name mm -hmm. when they leave. Like a, a kid might turn to his dad and be like, man, I really like that, that crazy guy with the face paint or, you know what I mean? Like now they can leave shows and be like that guy with the headphones or the, the headgear, if they, you know, know what it is, you know, he was a badass, and it, it's just a thing for people to notify and remember me by, and it, it built into my look that I'm now, you know, known for probably for the rest of my career. Yeah, there's something in wrestling that when fans can latch onto something, and if it's something as simple as a, you know, a yes chant, or a what chant, or, a, you know, the Fandango dance, or like something that fans can latch onto and go, I remember that person because of blank. And for you, like, you were so memorable because of what you did in the ring. But then I think attaching a visual to that made people go, now it clicks. Yeah, it definitely felt like a taking off point for my career because shortly after that, that's when all the Ring of Honor stuff started and then the PDBG stuff and everything else. So, But you were actually wearing the headgear like because of a, an injury, right? Was, was it like legitimately like cauliflower ear? Yeah, I actually injured myself at AIW in Cleveland uh, <laughs> for the 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 Jaylet tournament, the first one I was ever in, I think it was 2013. I'm really off with years, especially since the pandemic, but uh, it would have been around that ballpark time where we first met. And uh, yeah, I, I took a kick in the ear from ACH and my ear just blew up off my head. I filmed a promo that night, draining it with a syringe myself. And uh, the next day uh, I got hit again in it and it blew up and it like, it actually like exploded off my head so it like my ear split in half and it was like dangling down so i had to go get it surgically like pinned to the side of my head and like the doctors are they don't care about pro wrestling they look at me and they're like well whatever you know, do whatever do do what you have to do to have it heal and there's like you can't touch this for six months or three months or whatever they said and i was just like i got a book in in two weeks in ottawa like i gotta make it yeah. So I, I went on eBay and ordered headgear and, you know, put it on for that show. And I felt like such a goofball. I remember I went out and I wrestled Mike Bailey and a guy named Hacker Scotty O'Shea in a three-way for C4 Wrestling in Ottawa. And walking out, I'm getting like Princess Leia chants. I'm getting nice headphone chants. I'm getting chirped like crazy. Still stuff that I hear to this day every, every so often for people that don't know me. But, uh, you know, I felt like such a goof. And I came to the back and by the end of the match, they were just standing and applauding the match because it was an yeah. awesome match, right? And yeah. I came to the back and I remember Ethan Page pulled me aside and he was just like, you're keeping that headgear, man. That You look like a badass with that on. I'm like, really? I feel like I, I look like a complete goof. But he was like, no, you, you, it, it's it's badass. You're keeping that. And I'm just like, oh, okay, cool. And I, I haven't taken it off since. So. I feel like this is one of life's happy accidents where it's like you try something, you, you, you're not even sold on it. And I mean... Now it's part of who you are. Yeah, yeah. And like, it's not even that I wanted to try, you know, it's just out of necessity. And I'm so thankful that it did happen because otherwise, you know, I definitely wouldn't have tried wearing headgear if I didn't injure my ear and need it. So if people draw comparisons to, I mean, Rick Steiner is probably the most famous with the headgear. Kurt Angle briefly, I mean, you have, com you have comparisons to Kurt Angle for many other reasons, but he wore it briefly when, they, when he was wearing the wig right after he shaved his head. Yeah, that, that and that's the thing that I, I I read it on social media all the time. Uh, is like fans are like, man, I love Josh Alexander, but I can't get over that headgear. It just reminds me of Angle with the wig, and it's just so goofy. I just can't see past it and stuff like that. And I read it, and I go, if that's really a thing that you can't see past, like I can't, I can't please everybody. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it, it's definitely uh, the thing that I'm going to remember by forever because I think you know, other than Rick Steiner, I'm the only one that's pulled it off since, and I think a lot of people have tried. What does it sound like when you put it on? 
Uh, it is definitely harder to hear uh, like anyone talking directly to you because obviously it cuts off some of that stuff. But, uh, you know, I hear audiences, I hear everything. And I've kind of trained myself over the years, luckily wearing it for nearly 10 years now to be able to just maintain and get by with it. So.